Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to do here is just kind of brush up on your uh, understanding of powers and exponents. Okay, so a lot of students get this, get these properties confused, and I'm probably not going to go over everything, but I'm just going to go over some um, kind of some uh, common scenarios that you might face in algebra, or you definitely will face. All right, so here I have two terms. I have 2x cubed y to the fifth and 3x uh, to the fifth y squared. And let's go ahead and do some things with them. Let's first of all, let's see if we can add or subtract them. So let me ask you, okay, if I have 2x cubed y to the fifth plus 3x to the fifth y squared, what would you do? Okay, can we simplify this? Can we kind of like combine them together? All right, so the answer is no, we can't do anything with this. When we're looking at powers, okay, or looking at um, expressions that have powers uh, to them, okay, like we have here, the only time we can actually combine them is when we have like terms, okay? So, for example, what if I had 2x cubed y to the fifth, and I had, say, 3x cubed y to the fifth, okay? Remember, you have to key in on the variable and power part. They have to be exactly, exactly the same. If they are exactly the same, okay, then I can actually combine them like like terms. So in this case, it would be 5x cubed y to the fifth, okay? It's the same thing um, when you look at this uh, scenario, 2x um, plus, say, uh, 3xy. Are those like terms? No, because this these variable parts aren't the same. So same thing when we're dealing with these uh, um, powers and um, um, these exponents going on. You have to focus in when we're when we're looking at a, um, a scenario where we were asked to add or subtract them. Okay, you can only do that when they're like terms, and you only have like terms when the variables um, are exactly the same and they have the exact same power. And then you can add or subtract the coefficients, okay, which are the numbers in front of these terms. All right, so um, let's go ahead and move on. And the reason why some of you probably think, like, yeah, you know, I understand that that's easy. But what happens is when you're learning a lot of different things like multiplication and division, that's when students, you know, they'll, they'll confuse them. And you're going to make some mistakes uh, initially. But the whole idea um, in this video is just try to help you, you know, focus on the particular properties uh, when it comes to powers and exponents. All right, so now let's go ahead and take these terms and now let's see if we can multiply them together. Okay, what happens there? Okay. All right, so yes, indeed, we can uh, definitely multiply them together. And the way we're going to do that is, there's a couple different ways you could think of it, but I'm going to kind of co um, collect all the factors of this. If I have 2x cubed, uh, y to the fifth times 3x to the fifth y squared, these are, I can kind of break this up or think of these as their factors, right? 2 times x cubed times y to the fifth times 3 times x to the fifth times y squared. Okay, so I can um, kind of rewrite this in a different way, and you shouldn't have to do this in, uh, on your test or in your homework. I'm just um, writing this out in a, in a uh, manner to, to teach you this. But order doesn't make a difference in multiplication. In other words, 2 times 5 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times 2 times 5, right? So I could shift these numbers or these factors around, and I'll still get the same answer. So thinking about this problem in terms of, of these factors, I'm going to kind of write these factors. I'm going to get numbers next to numbers. So that would be 2 times 3. I think I write that better. And then I'm going to get my x's kind of together, x cubed times x to the fifth. And then I'll get my y's kind of next to one another, okay? Now, you should be doing this kind of mentally, but if you have to do it this way initially just to get this correct, that's fine. So now let's go ahead and simplify this. 2 times 3 is going to be 6 times x cubed times x to the fifth, okay? So if I have x cubed times x to the fifth, the property is, is we add the exponents, okay? When the bases are the same, we simply add the exponents. So this is going to be x to the eighth. Okay, think about it. If I have um, x cubed here and I'm multiplying by x to the fifth over here, okay, one, two, three, four, five, um, if I multiply these together, I get um, eight x's, okay, so or x to the eighth. So that'll be multiplied by 
right here I have y to the fifth times y to the seventh once again same base so I just add the exponents so that'll be y to the seventh so my final answer will be 6x to the eighth y to the seventh all right so that's just a real kind of um, um, quick example on uh, these properties and then we'll go into with other examples the division and other uh, properties of exponents but just remember, okay, when you're dealing with an addition or subtraction scenario, you have to think about like terms. When you're dealing about multiplication or division scenario, you start looking at these particular properties that I just uh, showed you here. Okay. All right. So hopefully this video helps you out. Please come on over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. i uh, got uh, just tons of uh, tutorials and videos all designed to um, uh, make math easy to learn. All right. So take care and good luck.